This is the grade six math practice test for TN Ready. Question number 21, at least on this edition. What situation could be solved by computing four fifths divided by two thirds? Now, much like some of my extended family, this question is overly complicated for no reason. There's absolutely nothing in this that indicates that you have to know anything about fractions to do it because they're not asking you about fractions. They're really just asking you about division. Which situation could be solved by doing this? The numbers don't make any sense. So let's just use different numbers. Let's say four fifths is three. And actually you just want to use the numerators, that'd work. Four and two. Because the number answer is not required, they're just asking you conceptually how that works. So what I want to do is figure out a situation where if I get rid of the four fifths and just use the numerators, which one of these would I divide on? That's it. That's all they're asking you. So question number one. Gabriel has a piece, or answer choice number one, sorry. Gabriel has a piece of rope that is four meters long. How many two meter pieces can he cut? So he has, this is four, and they want to know, well, how many twos can he cut? Well, that and that. This is the ultimate. See how he's cutting it into equal size pieces? That's exactly 100% division. So there it is. Let's look at the other answer choices anyway. Hector has four cups of strawberries. He mixed two cups of blueberries. Now, how many cups of berries does he have? So he has, we'll just make these as cups. They're all different sizes. That's a really good way to show the same unit, have them be different shapes. Something's wrong with me. So he has two, four cups of strawberries, two cups of blueberries, and he pours them all into some giant bowl over here. And that's obviously not division. He's combining them. This is an addition question. So Jaden spent four hours reading. His sister Kira read two hours less than Jaden. How much time? See this word less here? So he did four. She did two hours less. How much did she read? She read for two hours. Now you can make this more complicated by doing the subtraction, but you don't need to. This isn't a question about calculations or computations. It's about conceptual analytical thought. A music teacher has four packages of paper. The art teacher has two times how mu that much paper. How much paper does the art teacher have? Well, eight um, packages of paper, or in this world, you do four-fifths times two-thirds. Again, you don't need to know that. You just need to know the concept. So just focus on what they're asking you. If it looks like you're going to do a computation, then yeah, you can't just use numerators. That doesn't work. But I don't feel any need to sit here and show you a divisions of fractions questions because it's not necessary. They're just trying to get your brain to turn off because there's a bunch of fractions, which a lot of people will do. And you may hear that and it shocks you. Why would they just give up on it? Because it has fractions. Because they don't like fractions. They are trying to get people who don't automatically like fractions just to quit and pick an answer because that's what they do, which is kind of terrible if you think about it. And do you want those kind of terrible people to win? They're not actually terrible people. They're trying to get you to think about math, but we're going to think of them as terrible people, even though they're not. Um, do you want terrible people to win? Then the only way you can fight back is to not fall for it. You don't need to do the division of fractions here. You simply need to figure out what operation they're doing and find out the one that matches that type of operation. This is a division question. This is obviously division because they're cutting it into pieces. That's exactly what divide means. So the answer choice for 21.